one measure of the quality of a community is how much of an asshole you can be without feeling like you have to leave it. Right. Like, like when I saw that Russell Brand decided that he had to be a Christian now because the non-Christian world was done with his bullshit, I felt like buying us a round of drinks. And now it looks like we're on the verge of driving out a somehow even bigger asshole in the person of the world's richest man and Donald Trump's part-time fluffer, Elon Musk. Now, as far as I know, Elon Musk has not quite crossed over the line into Christendom. He hasn't live streamed his baptism like the rapey guy from Forgetting Sarah Marshall did, at least. He's recently declared himself culturally Christian, though, and said that he's a, quote, big believer in the principles of Christianity, end quote. And even more recently, he threw Christianity a pretty public bone in the form of a few lines of fucking Vogon poetry. On the day I'm recording this, he tweeted out the following, and you'll have no idea how physically difficult it is for me to read such bad goddamn poetry, but here it goes, quote, Atheism left an empty space. Secular religion took its place, but left the people in despair. Childless hedonism sans care. Maybe religion's not so bad to keep you from being sad. <clears throat> now, let's set aside the fact that it sounds like it was written by an eight-year-old with a crush on his babysitter and has rhymes that Dr. Seuss would want to spice up a bit. Or you know what? Fuck that. Let's not set that aside. My God, man, you're the richest person on earth. Is there nobody in your fucking retinue that can at least count the goddamn syllables for you? Here, I did it. Seven, nine, eight, 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 seven, you ridiculous idiot. What are we doing? Fucking unambic octameter? Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm super impressed with the way you managed to make a billion dollar fortune out of nothing but an inherited emerald mine seized under one of the most egregious violations of human rights since the fucking Holocaust. But how about you leave the poetry to people that know that meter isn't the upgrade to the paleo diet? This is the fucking cyber truck of verse. This poem is so fucking bad that if your children hadn't already stopped talking to you, this would have tipped them over. I mean, bad and sad? What are you, an angsty tween whose mom took away their phone and their thesaurus? Jesus Christ, there's no such thing as bad enough at poetry to deserve the death penalty. But the world has never had a better reason to rethink that policy. <sighs> okay, now let's set aside how bad the poem is, because the point he's making is somehow even worse. And it starts with the first line, atheism left an empty space. Oh, is it a, a God-shaped hole in our hearts, perhaps, Elon? This is, of course, a nod to the dumbass notion that there's some fundamental purpose served by religion, that somehow being wrong as a group confers some necessary benefit on us. And sure, maybe when we didn't know much shit, it was helpful to all agree on the same wrong answers, but those days are way behind us. The very idea that atheism leaves an empty space assumes that religion fills one, which is quantifiable bullshit. So we're seven syllables in, we're already wrong, but Elon's just getting warmed up. The second line is, secular religion took its place. Secular fucking religion Right, that, that's the main lie in this whole thing, right? The idea that there's a secular religion. It's a bullshit thing that wrong people like to pretend because secular religion is reality. It's that which can be demonstrated to be true, but that which can be demonstrated to be true includes stuff like gender isn't binary and Elon Musk's wealth is primarily the product of absurd privilege and a sociopathic lack of empathy, and we can't have that shit now, can we? So we have to call it a fucking religion because religions can be denied. And of course, all the religious people are on board because pretending reality is a religion is the only way that they're ever going to achieve a level playing field. And just in case the poem wasn't verifiably false enough yet, we get this third line, but left the people in despair. Oh, so I guess uh, we could go out and measure the happiness of the world and, and um, we would find that the states and nations that are the most religious are also the most happy, huh? Oh, fuck, exact opposite? <laughs> exact opposite. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm sure you, Elon, are full of fucking despair. But in general, we atheists are doing fine and we've got the statistics to prove it. And then he goes full J.D. Vance with this next line. He says, childless hedonism sans care, which from a fucking poetic perspective is the worst line in the goddamn poem. Without would have fit both the rhythm and the meter, but you used sans. But Far more importantly, it speaks to this misogynistic obsession with birth rates. Now, for what it's worth, it is true that atheists have fewer kids on average than religious people. 
right? Because the furthest thing from being a problem in all the goddamn world is not enough humans. It's called being socially responsible. I mean, I get, Elon, that you need to have a pretty large pool of kids to ensure that at least one of them is willing to talk to you at any given moment. But that's because you're an irresponsible asshole, not because religion is good. But that gets us to the poem's closing argument, lines five and six, right? Here we go. Maybe religion's not so bad to keep us from feeling sad. Which, again, is demonstrably untrue if you look at the happiness of the world regionally. And even if it was true, it would be such a minuscule weight on the good side of the scale when you compare it to all the genocidally horrendous shit that religion is so bad at. But beyond all that, and I think the deepest flaw in Elon's substandard reasoning is that believing something because it keeps you from being sad is epistemological malpractice. It's the most infantile possible means of arriving at one's beliefs. This makes me sad, therefore I'll believe something happier. Is that what you're advocating? So here you go, Elon. Anybody who knows me at all knew as soon as they read this shit that I was going to clap back in rhyme. So let me show you how this shit's done. <clears throat> Faith in God has left a space between the ears of those it graced and made them say the dumbest shit like that ex-dad, ex-husband Twitter twit whose rhyming sucks, whose meter's criminal, whose cyber truck is too polygonal, and whose epistemic fatal flaw was best summed up by Bernard Shaw. As that great Irish playwright says, and forgive me for the paraphrase, the fact that faith can bring some cheer is irrelevant, because so can beer. And Elon, as to what respect folks once had for your intellect, it's safe to say you've passed it on to blue sky threads and mastodon. <laughs>